Hello, I don't know what it's like where you are right now, but here in Montreal, the weather has been all over the place. And the footage that I shot at the beginning of this video was just a few days ago. We had so much snow. And just before that, we'd had a few days that were so beautiful that there was people outside wearing shorts and running shoes. And then yesterday I tried to shoot this intro Sadly, it wasn't in focus at all and I didn't even notice until I went to edit it. <laughs> so I had to reshoot today. But yesterday was like summertime here and today it is very chilly and wet and very, very gray, as you can see. When we get these beautiful, beautiful days, it is incredibly deceiving and very inspiring and exciting. Unfortunately, it gives me this intense drive to start tidying up the garden and planting seeds and seedlings and I know I can't do it because I know that the last frost has not come yet and the last snow has definitely not come yet. We get snow sometimes in April, we've even gotten snow in May and the winters are very very long in Montreal but this like spring pre-spring uh, teasers that we get it's very common it's like a different season every day here at this time of year and um, and it's really hard because some of the plants are actually starting to pop up I have um, some chives that are that are making an appearance some of the oregano and even the strawberry plants are coming back to life so it's extremely tempting to plant but I know if I do the seeds and seedlings will not make it so I am going to have to settle for planning, planning what I'm going to do when it is warm enough. And also doing an inventory of the seeds that I have uh, from last year. And I could start some seedlings inside, of course. This is the time to do that. Um, but yeah, planning, definitely important. And especially where we live because our courtyard is so small. There's not very much room. And I am so obsessed with gardening that I've managed to stick a plant in pretty much every nook and cranny of this space and we have to be careful because one year we got so excited I can't remember how many varieties of tomatoes we planted in big giant pots all over the deck but basically it was a jungle out here and there was no room to spread out like you couldn't even sit and eat without having branches and leaves and I mean secretly I loved it also but not very practical oh there's a plate Speaking of planning, in holistic nutrition and naturopathy both, a lot of the focus that we have with our clients is about nutrition, of course, but also about lifestyle choices. And that can often mean that we are working with creating new habits or solidifying habits and planning with our patients for times that will be very stressful for them or times that they will be very busy or very tired because these are often the times that we are the least self-supporting let's say or even the most self-sabotaging so by planning i mean helping our patients come up with strategies for stress management or um, making sure that they have the best sleep hygiene possible or that they are getting enough movement into their day or that they are supporting themselves nutritionally, of course. And nutrition, sometimes that's planning for a very stressful stretch um, at work that is gonna be very busy. And uh, sometimes it is more about planning for a specific event or possibly triggering social or family engagement. And then sometimes it's more about, often it's more about just planning for the day to day. So that might look more like meal prep, for example. A lot of us don't have the time or the energy or the inspiration to prepare healthful, helpful meals every single day, much less three times a day plus snacks. And that's why meal prep can be really, really helpful at keeping us from ending up in a situation where we are either skipping breakfast or grabbing just a muffin or a pastry or something like that, that will actually leave us even more low energy or grabbing fast food at lunch, or again, skipping lunch, or eating takeout for dinner, which is often packed with sodium and saturated fats and other crap that 
will also just make us feel even less energy and more stressed out. So I'm putting together this series of meal prep videos for you to show you an example of some of the ways that you can prepare for the week or for these more stressful, busy times in your life. I'm starting with a breakfast. It is these eggless breakfast bites and they are super quick and easy to make and you can have them by themselves you can eat them with toast you could we've been eating them with whole wheat tortillas and chopped fresh tomatoes and alfalfa sprouts this week probably you could add avocado salsa even some black beans if you wanted a more substantial breakfast but i'm totally derailing here so um let's get back on track <laughs> like i said they're really easy to make they're very quick to make and you can they're individual breakfast bites which is cool too because they're just already ready to go. You can just grab them out of the fridge, heat them up while you're in the shower or when you get to work or whenever. Very, very convenient. I hope you try them. Hope you like them. And I hope you let me know in the comments if you did. Before we start making the breakfast bites, I just wanted to show you two other really quick things. Um, and these are things that I do every week basically to prepare for the week to come and for breakfast specifically and One of those things is to make sourdough bread. I feed the starter every few days when I'm on top of things sometimes um, I'm not great at it. Sometimes it only happens once a week um, But it keeps it keeps it alive somehow <laughs> So I usually I'll make the actual loaf of bread then before going to bed in the evening and then I'll stick it in the oven uh, with the oven off but the light in the oven on and that usually creates enough warmth to get the sourdough rising and then by morning it's ready for a second knead and then about an hour later I can pop it in the oven and bake it so we'll have fresh bread that morning. Another thing that I make um, every week or every two weeks is a big batch of granola and that will last us for the week or two depending on how big of a batch that I make, of course. And um, I like changing up the different nuts or seeds or dried fruit. The recipe for the granola is on sweetvegan.net as well as the recipe for the sourdough bread and the breakfast bites. But just to let you know that the granola is also featured on one of the first Sweet Vegan Living YouTube videos um, of what I eat for breakfast and I walk you through the steps and ingredients of how to make the granola as well. If you're interested, you should go and check that out. The fun thing about the breakfast bites is kind of like an omelet, if you've ever had one. Um, they're super customizable, so you can put in the things that you like. I, you don't have to put anything in them, although I do recommend that you put some seasoning because the base is just tofu, and tofu doesn't really have much flavor on its own. But um, like I was saying, you can add olives, you can add sun-dried tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, zucchini, you can add bell peppers, you can add any kind of onion you like. I like to make them sometimes using some vegan sausage. It's really, really tasty also. For the ones I'm making here, I use green onion and cherry tomatoes, as well as Kalamata olives and some vegan feta. The first thing I did was in a food processor, I blended up the tofu with some turmeric and nutritional yeast and black pepper. And processed that until it was creamy. And then I moved it into a bowl and mixed in the ingredients that I mentioned earlier just until it's well incorporated. And that 
is it for the prep. That's all you have to do. I lightly oiled some silicone baking cups. I popped them in a muffin tin and scooped the mixture equally between all of the cups. I sprinkled on a little bit more feta and the rest of the green onions and popped that in the oven at 375 for about 25-ish minutes, give or take. It'll depend on your oven, of course, but it shouldn't take more than 20 to 30 minutes max. And Probably, depending on what you put in your breakfast bites, if you insert a knife into them, they should the knife should come out clean when they're done. That is it. See, I told you, so easy, so quick, and so tasty. Thank you so much as always for watching this video. It means so much to me. I really, really appreciate it. And if you are a Patreon subscriber, I cannot thank you enough for believing in the work that I'm doing, for contributing to it and helping to make this channel possible. Thank you. Thank you for that. And if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me for nutrition or naturopathy or both, the booking link is in the description below. Have a really great week. I'll see you soon and take really, really good care of yourselves. Bye.